What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new Star Wars Battlefront video. Now in this video I'm going to be going over all of the January update patch notes. Now we're going to start off and say that obviously there's a new A-Wing menu screen. For when we start the game up we get to see the A-Wing in the background and that has been added in because that was never there before. We also have the new private match feature where if you click onto any game mode if you have the box in the top right hand corner ticked for private match you can then go into a private match but you do need at least three other people including yourself to actually play them and you can enable map rotation so you can keep playing the same map over and over again or you can actually play the full rotation of maps in that specific game mode. And then obviously we have the new hero skins for Luke Skywalker with the Anakin Skywalker lightsaber and the Han Solo Hoth skin as well with the blue Parker jacket and they can be both used on any of the Hoth maps which include heroes and villains. Then we have the new Raider Camp map which is the Tatooine survival map just changed so it can be put into the online multiplayer playlists for Blast, Hero vs Villains, Droid Run and Hero Hunt. Now this map is really cool, it does have a lot of levels of verticality, it's kind of like Advanced Warfare maps for Call of Duty, that had a very large amount of verticality in the maps, which we've never actually seen before on any of the Star Wars Battlefront maps. So it's a nice change and the pace of the games is brilliant, I've played it and I had an incredible amount of fun actually playing on the new Raider Camp map. So now we're going to get on to the actual weapons and star cards. The Bowcaster has actually been nerfed and it can't kill full health enemies even at close range one shot anymore with a fully charged shot which I'm quite happy about because you're going to get no more combinations of the jump pack and the bowcaster which literally destroys everyone and then obviously if you have the bounty hunter trait you could just keep doing it and doing it and doing it and we're not going to actually get that anymore which I do find good but also I think it might have been nerfed actually a bit too much. The homing shot lock on time has actually been increased so now if you get the one that someone is trying to lock onto you, you do have quite a big gap to try and get away and get into cover before that shot fully locks on and comes after you and kills you. Which I do think is absolutely great because the homing shot was one of the most overused star cards in the game. Great news for any snipers out there who like playing Star Wars Battlefront because the cycler rifle has been slightly fixed. The drop off has actually been decreased. You know, you're not going to get as much bullet drop, so it makes shots a lot easier to pull off. So I'm hoping to see a lot of you guys get a lot of cycler rifle clips for my top 5 players of the week. Also, the cycler rifle can now one-shot enemies up to 10 meters, which is great if you accidentally jump pack pretty much on top of someone and you have your cycler rifle ready. You can just pull it out, hit them with one shot, and it kills them straight away, which is great to see. I'm really happy that the cycler rifle has started to come back. The Bounty Hunter trait only removes 85% of cooldowns now at trait level 3 rather than the 100% cooldowns removed which it was before the January update. And that means it's going to stop a lot of people actually just spamming the jump pack all the time now at Bounty Hunter level 3 with the Bowcaster like I said before. It's going to stop that which is really good to see again because it's making the game a little bit more fair rather than these people who can just jump around spamming their star cards and getting a load of kills. You're actually going to have to play properly now and use your star cards as a more secondary weapon rather than a primary which it used to be before. The explosive shot has now been decreased in damage as well for the EE3 and the SE14C by almost half. The RT97C overheat has been increased by 8%. The Bowcaster flash grenade, ion torpedo, thermal detonator and impact grenade have all had replenish times shortened by a couple of seconds. And the explosive shot active time has actually been decreased as well. Scan ping recharge time has been shortened and the DL44 overheat has been tweaked and the fire rate has actually been dropped so I'm guessing that gun is probably no longer going to be the most overpowered gun in the game. The ion torpedo and smart rocket lock on ranges have been shortened. The RT97C shot spread has been increased when firing for long periods. Scan ping active time has been dropped massively to 2 seconds. And the barrage replenish times have been massively increased. Them two last patches are probably ones which everyone's going to be most unhappy with because the barrage recharge time now has gone 
it's it's far too long really it's 45 seconds 30 between 30 and 45 seconds something like that and that is a very long time to wait for your star cards to actually recharge although it was something that used to get spammed a lot but it wasn't too powerful so i don't think it needed to be nerfed that much the scan ping as well the scan ping was one of everyone's most favorite things to use but it was far too overpowered i used to use it a lot in the smaller game modes because you knew where everyone was pretty much all of the time it gave you seven seconds where you could just see everyone pretty much through any object you wanted and it was too powerful but now two seconds is a bit too short because if you're not paying fully attention you're not going to get used to that star card and it's going to it's going to suck a little bit for anyone who likes to use that Smash a like on this video if you've actually enjoyed finding out what has actually been patched in this January update. Comment down below whether you're actually happy with this or whether you think some of it should be changed in the next update. And also subscribe to be kept up to date with all things Star Wars every single day of the year. Other than that guys, may the force be with you.